Can board him now. <laughs> the real fight starts here. I'll kick him to the curb and back. <laughs> scale blowing through that area. Have you noticed, Adel? The wind is stronger in certain parts of the sea. Get a handle on them, and we can sail a lot faster. Often. Speed it up! All right! 
Great! Let's get the lead out! Sail like there's no tomorrow! It's finally time to set sail! Let's get psyched, Dogi! Yeah, things may be tough going, but we'll learn the ropes one step at a time. A crew full of rookies? And short-handed at that. No one gets any slack on my ship, so be ready! There's certainly a lot to account for. Hopefully we'll be able to maintain and reinforce the ship on our own at some point. A new island. Should we disembark on it? Drop anchor! We're going ashore! be a good spot to rest.
You're that doctor from the Azrad Clinic. Uh, uh, wait, aren't you? Dr. Azrad, you're okay. Oh, Grin. That was my fishing boat. You see, after you all went back to the inn that evening, I decided to go out and cast a few nighttime lines. Huh? But didn't my pops tell you to stay on standby at the clinic? Just couldn't resist again, huh? Well, I... yeah. Sorry. <sighs> anyway, I'd just gotten offshore when I came across this strange black ship. There was this silver-haired woman aboard, and I think she did something to me. That must have been Yurth. Right after that, I felt my body changing somehow, so I locked myself away in my ship's hold. From the symptoms, I thought maybe she'd infected me with some kind of plague. I see. And while you were locked up in the hold, the ship ran aground. How long has it been since that night? And what ended up happening with those wolves? Uh, about that. Huh, how can that be? Uh, then what about my daughter? Where's Mirabelle? Mira was with the rest of us in the old shipyard. But then I ran off and... I don't know what happened to her after that. I'm sorry. We don't know where your doctor friend is either, do we, Adol? Flair, too? This is terrible. If this was how it was going to turn out, I'd rather have... No. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I'll need to find some way to make myself useful, too. By the way, I've been wondering about this ship. You said it's part of the Balta Sea Force, but you're the only ones manning it? That's right. Just the five of us. <laughs> and one bird. Our main forces can't leave Balta Island unattended at the moment. The situation's that bad, then? <sighs> Karja, would you be willing to let me help out as part of the crew? Huh? There's still a lot about all this that I don't quite understand. But even so, I can't just leave things the way they are. Not as Karnak's chief physician, or as a father. In exchange, if at all possible, I only ask that you help my daughter, Mirabelle. I'm told you tended to anyone who needed it, townsfolk or Norman, without discriminating. We can't afford to go out of our way, but if we run into her during our mission, we'll save her. That's more than fair. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Carter! It can't be. Where'd they even come from? What's wrong, Ezer? Several enemy vessels approaching at three o'clock! It's the Undying Fleet! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Why are there so many? Adol, we need to move! Ho! 
hard to port! Whoa, was that the hold? The tyrant! Enemy artillery fire! Arthur Colborn! I request a battle with the two mana users. A new Greeker? <laughs> Seems that's really our only option here. Mm, so you help Saraddle and Kaja. No hesitation. Good. I will not mince words as a logger does. Let us not delay to battle. For your strength to bear. <laughs> <laughs> Not with words, but through the mana that links you. No mana wielder I have fought across the years has ever possessed such a power. You've fought them before? And yet... Damn it! You are Kaja, yes? You've some natural talent. Breathe deep and release the tension from your shoulders. I know not what holds you back, but you lack the composure to fight truly unfettered. What do you... When humans let their emotions lead, their vision narrows, their movements become predictable. Muscular exhaustion and the need to respire are basic limitations of your kind, are they not? Of what effect is a warrior of such physical frailty if they fail to wet their mind as well? Why do you hesitate? 
hesitate. Adol name. Interesting. It seems you've overcome significant hardships despite your age. You've some skill with the sword as well. And yet, there is not more to you. I've faced countless foes far stronger than you, each of which I have shown to their graves. This bastard! He's in another league from your then Logger! There is no shame in defeat. You humans may yet learn and grow. As such, I will grant you another opportunity to defeat me. <laughs> Three months. Three months to kill me. Should you accomplish that, the Sea Serpent's curse will free you from its grasp. But should you fail this challenge, the Serpent's coils will wind ever tighter around your throat until you perish in agony. <gasps> Why would you do this? Because it is only when faced with death that you humans truly fight. As a Norman, you should understand, knowing their rules of battle, no. Damn you. The two of you have only just awakened to this new power of yours. Should you seek to defeat me, you must take it far beyond its current limits. Hone yourselves together, side by side. And Kaja, I've especially high hopes for you. Hold it! Adol, Kaja, grow strong. And once you do, come claim my life. He said he wants us to grow. But that doesn't mean he'll let us off easy. We keep going this way. We'll get pulled into the tyrant! They're trying to push us into the tyrant with their bombardment. We turn and our broadside is open. They'd rip through us. I know not what holds you back, but you lack the composure to fight truly unfettered. No way around it. We'll have to leave our fate to the tyrant! What? Uh, are you serious? Here's hoping we make it. I'm counting on you, Adol. Well, well. It would seem they've chosen correctly. Other has a bad habit of doing things this way, but at least it'll make for a rousing saga. That blasted Other. He truly vexes me. But even he won't keep me from that wench. Karja, you will meet your end at the hands of Yurth Dorson. So keep that pretty head of yours attached to your neck in the meanwhile.
Let's catch our breath. Okay, let's give it a shot! Dr. Azrad? What is it, lad? Every time you'd run off to fish, Mira would go frantically searching for you. To be honest, I didn't think very highly of you for putting her through that. Oh, I see. I didn't really care for Karnak either, with the way the Normans lorded over all of us like they owned the place. And I hated the adults who were too terrified to defy them, including my pops. <sighs> but if it hadn't been for him and Karja, I might have died in Karnak. If you hadn't been here to teach me to fish, I might have even starved. I know I've been an idiot, and it's pretty crappy of me to have taken so long to realize it, but... I'm really grateful to both of you. Huh? <laughs> that had to have been the most grin way you could have put that. What's that supposed to mean? Whenever a problem props up, you worry your heart out, then spring into action and tackle it full force. Looking at you reminds me that I wasn't so different back when I was your age. Really? People, this world, they're surprisingly fragile. But in spite of everything out there that might break us, there's one thing for certain. The fact that right here, right now, we're still alive. Yeah. At times, you may feel as though you have no control over where your own life is headed. Hard to feel otherwise, what with all the injustice and inequality in this world. <sighs> but that's all the more reason why we have to do the best we can with what we're given, wouldn't you say? <laughs> So that's why we're here fishing on the shores of a ship graveyard? Precisely. We may not be able to change the flow of the tyrant, but we can at least make sure we eat good tonight. We Normans call that making the choice to live. Makes sense. I guess we're all the same in that way. Anyhow, what do you say we get ourselves some grub already, huh? Good idea. Sounds like your stomach's already chosen to live. All right! Let's see who can catch the most fish, old-timer! I'm gonna bag at least a hundred! Big talk. But I won't go down easy.
Yeah, what's this? Switch! These ruins used to be buildings from ancient times. I wonder what this place was like before it became a ship graveyard. the area.
Let's catch our breath. Let's go! 
at all. How good of you to come. As you can see, I'm feeling fit as a fiddle today. It's been a while since I was able to make it over here to my favorite fishing spot. Ho oh, ho! Not too bad if I say so myself. It's my favorite spot for a reason. In fact, I used to go ocean fishing back home all the time. Ah, uh, now, where was that again? Ah, oh, well. How about it, lad? Get a toss in a line and chat for a bit? What's that you've got there? Mind if I have a look? This appears to be a map of Viewpoint Isle, I believe. I thought I recognized this. It's one of the maps I drafted myself. Have a look. Do you see the X's marked on it here and there? These X's are... These X's are... I'm sorry. I just can't seem to recall. Oh, thank you for going to the trouble. My health's been much better recently, so I keep expecting that my memories will come back too, but... Oh, alas. At any rate, it seems like the map would be best left with you, Adol. Already, hmm? Would that you could stay and chat a while longer. Come back and visit me again sometime at all.